Uh, Beard Langs Farms has been in uh, existence as an Angus farm for 60 years, but our our farm is actually a, a century farm in Missouri plus three decades, and it's uh, survived two world wars, uh, two depressions. Uh, uh, it's it's part of our way of life, our community. And when my dad bought the farm, he always wanted to do something that would have added value, and uh, he actually uh, thought Pold Herford were the thing, and he bought Pold Herfords in the late 40s. And, kept me a year and a half and then he sold them and, and bought the first Angus cow on her heifer calf at side in, in late 1950. We didn't uh, quote quote have cattle good enough to show so we started performance testing and actually hit that a little bit backwards because as our cattle became better because of performance then we actually had some bulls go do well in the shows and actually had a bull in 1976 become a champion at Denver and, and it boosted him a lot by winning that show but he had good records, you know, performance records also, and I think, if I remember right, he became the number two bull in the breed and registrations for three straight years. Uh, at Beer Glang's Farms, uh, my sons are partners with me. Uh, I was with partners with my dad for a few years, and, and we've been, uh, uh, my father now has uh, passed this on to us, and, and I plan on passing it to our family, and I think, it, I think it's really important to have that new value of, of younger people. We started looking at the identity profile for Angus a couple years ago. I believe one of the greatest benefits of the identity profile will be that it will reduce risk for us and for our customers. Because we're able to identify the cattle that have the genes we need and are able to increase the accuracy with that. We're testing all the bulls in our February 20th sale to uh, reassure and, and let the customers see which bulls uh, have the genetic traits that they're selecting for and their own cow herds. The majority of the bulls that will be in our sale are, are yearling bulls so they haven't had any progeny with the identity profile for Angus. The DNA gives you the equivalent of 16 head worth of accuracy. In the past we've always had to rely on EPDs and on these young bulls they were low accuracy. And quite often you'd find young bulls that maybe were a high marbling bull, at least they were shown to be high marbling as young bulls, but as it became proven they were less, less uh, they had less genetic potential to put marbling on that next calf crop. By using the identity profile for Angus, we now have a greater confidence that these bulls that we've identified as high marbling truly are. So we're eliminating a lot of those mistakes of using bulls that maybe didn't prove out like we thought they would initially. I think the reason our customers buy our bulls is consistency and that the same buyers that they buy the same buyers that buy our bulls every year, their their bull their buyers buy their calves every year to feed. And I think it's our responsibility at the end product to make sure that, that we're not only picking for Cavanese and things that our genetic pro profile for Angus will guarantee us that down the road the, the end product that the last guy's uh, customer is happy to and that, that guy will come back and buy from him again. It, it's, like a, it's like a chain. Our customers buy from us, their customers buy from them, and the end the consumer either accepts it or not, and I think that the identity profile for Angus will cover that very well. The identity profile for Angus will help us save money in the long run. We believe it'll save us time, which in the cattle business is one of your biggest factors that you're dealing with. We also believe it'll help us in selection of herd sires and eliminate mistakes. The identity profile for Angus was available when my dad started in 1950. He'd have been using it. He never wanted to hold anybody back. He, uh, he was a GI teacher, taught farmers how to farm, and, and he would have used it. He'd have used the identity profile for Angus. He used performance. He used AI. He used ET. He, he would have used it. Um, and I, th I think it's important that my sons do this. I think it's important that you always stay advanced because I think in our family, we're, uh, I'd like my sons to, after the 60 years we've been in, I think you're going to have to advance things. And uh, they could be a 100-year Angus farm if they do the things and take care of the technology that advances the breed and, and satisfies their customers.